so here is the second video and the second test for formaldehyde we are coming and this test is failing test okay a very uh, well known test for you that is the failing test for aldehyde you know that ketones and aromatic aldehydes they do not perform they do not respond in failing test only aliphatic aldehyde they responds in failing test and what is the test you add just failing solution to the aliphatic aldehyde you get a reddish brown precipitate that reddish brown precipitate is nothing but of cuprous oxide right so we don't need the reaction here however you have the reaction and detail of the failing test in your theory part in the aldehyde ketone chapter but here in practical as i said earlier in the last video that we only need to write the correct observation we have to perform the reaction very well so let us start with the failing test so we have two failing solution one is failing one another is failing two and we have formaldehyde here one of the aliphatic aldehyde so how we perform the test we mix almost equal volume you cannot measure it quantitatively but from your perception you can see that almost equal amount of failing one and failing two first we will mix to get a deep blue solution so here i have taken failing one and then i take almost equal amount of failing two and see the solution becoming deep blue right a deep blue solution now to this solution we will add almost equal amount of formaldehyde equal amount means equal amount to failing one or failing two not this amount that will be huge quantity of formaldehyde we will add half of this amount so let us take the formaldehyde now shake it well and mix and after mixing we need to heat it okay so you can see before starting the heating before starting the heating as soon as the formaldehyde is mixed the deep blue uh, the deep blue solution of filling one and filling two that has turned already greenish right that means the formaldehyde has already started reacting to fasten this reactions we need to heat it now while heating be very careful never keep it straight okay always heat in inclined mode and don't keep it constantly inside the flame always keep it moving in this way and heat it heat it for about 30 seconds or 40 seconds like that sufficient and after this heating what we will do we will keep it for standing for about 2 to 3 minutes so that the solution becomes cool again it comes to the room temperature and then you know the observation a reddish brown precipitate will come at the bottom but the problem is the whole solution may not react so some green solution may remain there and at the bottom you will get the red precipitate that green color can mask the red color so for proper observation if by seeing the bottom of the test tube you get confused that whether it is proper red precipitate or not then we have a technique after it gets cooled down we will filter it the green solution will go away what is remaining the remaining is a precipitate so after filtering it if you get the red precipitate that means it has appeared that means it is a formaldehyde so it is heated sufficiently now we will keep it for standing and i am keeping it for standing for few minutes so that it comes to the room temperature okay okay so after standing it for few minutes now i have the solution and since i know it will come so i can detect it that a reddish brown precipitate has come at the bottom but if you think that it is not reddish brown it is looking something greenish like that then as i said earlier that you just filter it 
let the liquid part go away and then it will be very clear that yes it is a reddish brown precipitate of cuprous oxide so let us filter it we don't need the liquid part so let it go over to the sink see it is already reddish brown but still to make it very confirmed and very clear we just try to filter it out just filter it for few seconds and let the liquid part go away So this is the reddish brown precipitate at the bottom that is obtained okay so in this way we can perform the felling test for the identification of tollens reagent uh, for the identification of aliphatic aldehyde that is formaldehyde here